Hi friends, it's Carrie, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Carrie, and I make craft videos and card making videos, sometimes haul videos. I am currently um, in the midst of going to college, so I haven't been making the videos as much as often, but if you do like these kinds of videos and you would like to check out my other content, I invite you to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell. Otherwise, to my regular subscribers, thank you for coming back and watching my channel today. I've got a haul video that I wanted to share since I haven't sh shared a haul in quite some time. So I thought I would, I have um, put back some things that I have bought within the last few weeks. thought I would share with you what I have gotten. And so first up, just kind of get some of the boring things out of the way. I had to stock up on some black cardstock. So, um... I bought this through Butterfly Reflections Inc. because honestly, I could not find black cardstock anywhere, you guys. I searched several of uh, online stores that I regularly shop at, and um, Vanessa was the only one that I found that had three packs of this particular black cardstock from Lawn Fawn. <clears throat> Uh, the black licorice she had three of them left and I bought all three because I was out and I needed some black card stock so uh, so I went ahead and purchased it so I'm all stocked up on black again next up is this um, holographic paper pack from Summons Stamp <clears throat> and I've got Summons Stamp order and then Butterfly Reflections Inc which I just showed you and um just kind of random random <clears throat> orders so anyway I've got this and but this is a let's see if I can open it because this is not just one particular pattern it's actually a um, variety pack of this holographic cardstock and I wanted to share it with you guys in case y'all haven't seen this yet on their website I thought it was really cool and I actually have plans for this particular cardstock so but it's really neat. Um, you've got, I don't know what kind of pattern you would call that, but, and of course it's just the white on the back. Of course you've just got your regular <laughs> holographic. And then kind of like a um, diamond pattern here. And then you've got a solid with kind of like speckles. And then, that is so cool you guys. <laughs> that is really neat. And then this one is just kind of a duller, it's just more of a shimmery silver, but it, with a very hint of holographic in it. So, but yeah, you get six sheets, and then, and so, uh, very, very cool. So I have some ideas for that. Next up, I'll share um, a couple of stamp sets here. So, the first one that I got is this one here from Summon Says Stamp. I've been actually waiting on this for a month, literally a month. And um, but I, and I should have gotten the dies, but I didn't buy the dies at the time because I thought I was going to be getting it sooner than what I did. Anyway, so, um, but this is the Work of the Heart stamp set, and this is one of their, their bigger size stamp sets. This is the 6 by 8 size. Um, but I actually have a plan, a specific plan in mind uh, for this stamp set. I work with, I am an administrative assistant. I currently work part-time and I am an administrative assistant and um, a majority of my department is all uh, case management. So I have social workers, I have actual case workers, and then I have, um, uh, you know, you know, in that field I guess is what I'm trying to say but anyway they do such a great job you guys and um, since I have been working in this department for a year now I have really come to really uh, admire and really fully appreciate what they do on a daily basis social workers are um, nurses or anything anybody in the healthcare field it's it's a hard job to do um, but whenever you're doing social work it's it's on a next level and you know anyway so I just have utmost um, adoration and admiration for my co-workers so I wanted to create them some cards none of them which watch my channel so they don't know about this but I wanted to keep a surprise but I'm going to be making them some 
thank you cards using this stamp set. And on the lines, along the same lines as that, before I show you the other stamp sets, um, this is what was holding up my order um, whenever I placed it. But this is the extra large thank you die from CD, CZ Design. And it's got this large thank you die with the shadow. And I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be planning on you doing some slimline cards. So we'll see uh, how that works out. And if if at all possible, if y'all are interested, I'm not necessarily going to make a video, but I will share the end results with you guys um, on my community tab if, if you watch out for that. So if y'all are interested to see what how they turn out. So anyway, so I picked that die up as well. Um, to, this, to the other stamp sets that I picked up, I got this one from Mama Elephant. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you know that I am a big, huge fan of sentiments. And I really loved this one from Mama Elephant. Uh, this is the inside of birthday messages, and it's got all of these messages for the inside of your cards for birthdays. And I really do love, love these. I'll read you a couple of them. Uh, sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. Once in a while, someone very special comes along and makes the world a little bit more wonderful. Happy birthday. It's always a treat to wish happy birthday to someone so sweet. So, of course, obviously there's others, but there's a few that that's on here, but I really do like the, the different variety that you, that you get, and I like how, you know, small the message is, that, that you can stamp it on the inside of the card and still have enough room to write your own personal message as well. So I picked that one up. Um, and you've already seen the video, or if, if you, most of you that watch my videos, you, um, my previous video, The Miss, I picked up this stamp set, and you've already seen this one in action. But this is the Sweet Strawberry stamp set that I picked up from Concord and Ninth. They had a summer sale, and I've always wanted this stamp set since I saw it last year. But, um, of course, I had lots of things going on, and that was the last thing on my mind to, is to buy more stamps. But I picked it up. And I took advantage of their summer sale. Of course, I got the dies too. But um, I really do love this stamp set. And I plan on obviously creating more, uh, really, um, a lot more thank you cards with this one. I really do love um, the big strawberry and, of course, the smaller ones. And, of course, this message here is actually meant to be stamped on the inside if you wanted to stamp on the inside of this bigger strawberry. So I thought that was pretty clever. So, anyway, I got that. Um, I've picked up this stencil here. This was one of the stencils that I really did want and I will go ahead and I don't know if you can really see that on camera but this is can y'all see that? This is the roses I believe. What is this one called? Peony. Peony Bouquet and I've been wanting this stencil for quite some time and I've seen Christina Warner create a set of cards with this I don't know, a few months back and just made me fall in love with it all over again. So I really do love uh, love the stencil and I think I can really make some pretty clean and simple cards with that stencil there. This is how I store my stencils now. I just keep them in the ori original packaging. I don't change it out or anything. I just cut the top of it and there you go. So I picked that stencil up. I also picked this up directly from Brutus Monroe. This is the there's from their Slimline collection. I'm in the process of picking up some products to do Slimline cards. Now, I have been creating cards for over 10 years now, which is mind blowing to me. But I distinctively remember if I, I know I can't find any pictures, probably of the cards. Now back then. It was not considered what they call a slimline card. You just call it a, a skinny card. Um, but since these are so popular now, I mean, that's what they referred to them as. Um, but I really thought that this was pretty clever and easy to just kind of quick, quickly make slimline cards. But this is the 8.5 by 3.5 inch papers. And I just obviously love the rainbow. And it's just a simple polka dot pattern there. But yeah, I got bought this directly from Brutus Monroe. I actually seen um, an email pop up in my inbox on my email and saw this and it was just bought on a whim, <laughs> really. But um, so I'm interested to um, finally use that paper pack and get some use out of that once I've got another order coming in pretty soon from Simon um, that has some slimline 
stuff in it as well. But um, I also picked up some of these foam sticky strips. I had actually um, ran out of mine, so and I really, really do love these um, sticky ones. Now, the mine, the ones that I had before were from a different brand. I believe they were from Doris, I want to say. But uh, I know that Tailored Expressions obviously makes them too, so I just went ahead and bought two packs of those. And then finally from Tailored Expressions, I picked up another set of their brushes, uh, their blender brushes. They were having a, a sale, uh, like a three-day sale on their blender brushes. I think it was like 30% off. So, and I've always wanted a second set for my oxide inks um, because um, for the ones that I do have, I use them for my dye inks. And then I usually used, um, I have just the regular, uh, holder here that you're just your regular blender brush and then the these little sponges here are from scrapbook uh, scrapbook.com and um, they're, they're the domed sponges so I've been using those for my oxides but um, just a few colors anyway so but I really wanted a different set for uh, these blender brushes for my oxides so I haven't even taken them out of the box yet because I'm wanting to get another holder let me grab my holder that I have my others in just real quick as you can see this is how I think I've shown this before but this is how I store my blender brushes and this little holder here this is from make it by Marco she has a Etsy shop and um, so I really do love the way this one is. It's, it's called the Peacock Holder, I believe it's what it's called. But I want to get me another one of these before I open the, back, the box up. But that's how I store those. So anyway, that was my quick haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I've picked up recently. Um, I thank you all so much for watching my channel. I truly appreciate it. I know that I've been very MIA on my channel, but as I mentioned, I am working part-time, but I'm also a student once school starts back up. Um, I'm not sure how things are going to go as far as in my state um, whenever school does start back up in the fall, whether I do have two, what they call two seated classes um, on campus. Um, and I don't know if they're actually going to have those classes on, on campus or not, or if they're going online. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but, you know, either way, you know, I will do my very best, obviously, so and, and do what I can. But that's why I haven't been creating videos as much as I would have hoped because of um, that you know in life and also um, here this you know spring and summer uh, since last since we moved back to Missouri last year into our home um, my husband and I have been doing lots of renovations to our home we're literally except for one bedroom which this is this is the bedroom my craft room um, we are literally doing every single room in our home uh, redoing it because the home that I live in is an older home and it was never really updated when it was moved into so we have already done our kitchen we've done our um, laundry room and um, we're taking up all of the flooring because we have mostly carpet we're taking all of the carpet out of our house and putting down um, either vinyl plank or which is in the kitchen or obviously just laminate flooring so it's been a lot of work you guys as you can probably imagine if you're literally doing every room in the house so and that's what, what that's what we're doing so we are currently on our living room right now we just took up our carpet last night and um, so that's another reason why you haven't been seeing me on my channel as much and I truly apologize but you know we've got to get this done we've got to get our home you know back in order and fixed and done and and I'm ready for it to be done <laughs> but um, but I do miss you guys I, I really truly appreciate the ones that have been sticking around and you know waiting until I post a video it really does mean a lot to me I'm hoping you know in the future whenever my life has been settling down once I'm out of school and I've got my career going as a coder that I can really start getting creative again on a regular basis and um, it won't be this sporadic but I truly appreciate you guys as always and um, like I said if you're new to my channel 
I welcome you. <laughs> and like I said, I do have lots of other videos on my channel that you can check out just to get an idea of what I do here. But anyway, I hope y'all are doing well with all the COVID um, stuff going around. I know that things are kind of blowing back up again. Things are kind of shutting down again. And um, so I'm just hoping that everyone is staying well, uh, staying safe. And um, so, and if anybody that watches my channel, if you are a healthcare worker, um, I I um, I appreciate you because I obviously work in the healthcare field myself, so I understand um, the struggles. But um, anyway, love you all. I will see you in the next video very very soon, and I appreciate y'all watching. See you in the next video. Bye.